One of the great minds of consumer psychology is Professor Robert Cialdini. He thinks human behavior is predictable to a certain extent. For you as a content creator, what can you learn from this great mind? Hi, I'm Jente Kater from Voicebooking, and in this verse of six videos, lessons you can learn from Professor Robert Cialdini. First, let's get one thing straight. People are steadfast in their thoughts, so it can be tricky to convince them to do otherwise. The trick is to first establish common ground with your viewer, something that you can both agree on. For example, imagine you are making a video about a new kind of drinking cup for small children. Don't start your video by telling the viewer why your drinking cup is absolute the best in the market. No, no, no. Talk about the importance of drinking enough or raising small children safely. And once you have their attention, you can start telling them all about the advantages of your new drinking cup, the best one in the world. Did you know that our brains only make up 2% of our body weight, but use up to 25% of our energy? That's why most people usually take the same route to work shop in the same places and vote for the same political party. In today's complex and busy world, you simply don't have the time to think about every single decision you make. And this is why it's important to use the thinking power of your viewer carefully. So if you want people to persuade on something new, keep things simple. Once you've figured out that people like consistency, you can take them on a customer journey by taking baby steps towards your goal. For example, in a neighborhood with a lot of children, a group of residents wanted their neighbors to place warning signs in their gardens for passing cars to slow down. They did not sit well with many of them. The group then decided to have their neighbors sign a petition and to start with putting a small sticker on their car windows. A few weeks later, they started asking to place those warning signs again. And now most of them agreed. The moral of the story, start off with a small request first. A good example of this is instead of saying, buy this car, say, how about a test drive? Sometimes it's amazing to see how much people like consistency. For example, the initiation ceremonies in the army or for students. During these initiation ceremonies, people are humiliated, hurt, they even can die. But you and I know how crazy it may sound, these rituals still exist. The reason behind this? People appreciate some things more when they have to work hard for it and then persist to achieve it. And this is why making your product exclusive and one of a kind will raise the chances that people will love a product faster and even more. And there you have it. Episode number one from Lessons You Can Learn from Professor Robert Cialdini. If it inspired you, please give it a like. And if you have anything to add or any questions, leave them in the comments below. For more videos, check out our blog at voicebooking.com or subscribe to our YouTube channel, voicebooking.com. So that's youtube.com slash voicebooking.com. Thanks for watching. Until the next time. Bye.